Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 110 of the 365 day trivia road trip. We've got a year full of 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes. Today, no exception. 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the video for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one, put a D at the end of this word for a slang to utterly defeat someone. This term can also mean a casino and crib is slang for one's own. On one is getting something for free while something applauded vigorously brings this down. What is this place? The word we're looking for is house. Question number two. The celestial temple near Bajor was in one on Deep Space Nine. The Stargate uses one to transport teams. What are these space tunnels that may be so small that only squirming invertebrates can travel through them? These space tunnels are called wormholes. Question number three, although his name sounds like an aviation term, it is synonymous with one who washes his hands of the matter. What is the name of this procurator of Judea before whom Jesus was tried and sentenced to death? His name was Pilate, Pontius Pilate. Question number four, named by Europeans for a great pre-colonial kingdom located near this river's mouth, it flows from its headwaters in Zambia, north into Zaire, then southwest. What is the name of the second longest river in Africa, which lends its name to a book by Michael Crichton? The name of the river and of the book is the Congo. Question number five. In the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of these is called the Necklace of the Great Mother Ishtar. Since seawater has a high refractive index, when it causes what kind of phenomenon, the radius is smaller. The radius is smaller than normal on a seawater rainbow. Rainbow is the answer. Question number six, an ABBA song tells listeners to put on a white one, while Tampa Stadium is known as the big one of this clothing article. What is the name of this hat, whose name is derived from Spanish for shade, that originated in Mexico? Tampa Stadium is known as the Big Sombrero. Question number seven. The heaviest yet softest shafts in a player's golf bag are the wedges. What is the name of the longest club in the bag that is used to hit the ball the furthest? Those clubs are called drivers, or woods, but specifically drivers. Question number eight. This walled citadel in Moscow houses the crown jewels of the Russian imperial family and the parliament building. What is the name of this building, which is also the name of any medieval defensive fortress in a Russian city?
The answer is Kremlin. Question number nine. The Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, and Gulf of Suez surround the Sinai one. What is this geographical term for a region surrounded by water on three sides, such as the state of Florida? The term we're looking for is a peninsula. Question number 10. A Kurd by birth. What is the name of the man who plays an important role in Sir Walter Scott's The Talisman, who became Sultan of Egypt in 1174 and who earned a reputation as the adversary of the Crusaders? The answer is Saladin. Question number 11. What is the name of the element with the atomic number 3 and the symbol Li, whose hydroxide compound is used to thicken grease and extend the life of batteries, and its carbonate compound has proven useful in the treatment of manic depressive disorders? The answer is lithium. Question number 12. Poorly stored, confiscated fireworks intensified an ammonium nitrate explosion that leveled buildings and left hundreds of thousands of people homeless in what Lebanese port city in the year 2020? The answer is Beirut. Question number 13. His father was a Princeton professor and he was taken to an Egyptian archaeology dig during his Young Chronicles. This character marries Marion Ravenwood and discovers that Mutt is his son. What is the name of this fictional finder of the Holy Grail, the Lost Ark of the Covenant, and a Crystal Skull? The answer is Indiana Jones. Question 14. What are the names of any two of the three world leaders that met at the Yalta Conference held in February of 1945 to discuss the post-war fate of defeated Germany and the rest of Europe? The answer is FDR, Churchill, or Stalin. Any of those two. Question number 15. The company Sikorsky won a bid to produce these vehicles, which are called Marine One when they transport the US President. During the Battle of Mogadishu, two of these vehicles were shot down. What is this common type of aircraft? The answer is helicopters. Question 16. This idea is often stated as the simplest solution is most likely to be the best one. Simple paradoxes can often be solved with what principle that was named for a Franciscan friar? That principle is called Occam's Razor. Question 17. This royal's reputation was destroyed after another woman forged letters in her name to acquire jewelry in the diamond necklace affair. 
Who was this last Queen of France before the Revolution who was executed not long after her husband, Louis XVI? The answer is Marie Antoinette. Question number 18, debuting in Harvey Comics comic books in the 1950s and dubbed The Poor Little Rich Boy, what is the name of the fictional only child of fantastically wealthy parents who is so affluent that his middle name is just a dollar sign? The answer is Richie Rich. Question 19. Invented or first used by the English mathematician John Wallace in 1655, when a number 8 is presented horizontally instead of vertically, it becomes a mathematical symbol representing the concept of what? An eight, when it's laying on its side, represents infinity. And question 20. During this pilgrimage, Muslims circle the Kaaba and perform the metaphorical stoning of the devil. What is the name for this pilgrimage to Mecca that all Muslims who are both financially and physically able are expected to perform at least once in their life? That is called the Hajj. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you everybody who joined us for the premiere. Check back tomorrow, it'll be day number 111, kind of like a Friday night pub quiz. Get the weekend off to a good start, and then we do have two pit stop trivias over the weekend before we're back at it on Monday. So. Follow along if you'd like to. If you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to be reminded of when we have these new videos pop up, now is a perfect time to do that. I think that's all else I have to say. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Gulliver's Travels is a famous satirical novel that is both an adventure story and a devious philosophical reflection on the constitution of modern societies. What year was it first published? It's hard to believe it's that old. It was first published in 1726. If you've played this before, you know the rules. Whichever player got closest to that answer wins the point. If it was a tiebreaker, they win the round. Congratulations. See you tomorrow.